Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to humanity's 14th greatest invention ever, Guess the Elo. In the last 40 episodes or so, I've made you laugh, cry, and everything in between, but mostly I am pointing out the mistakes in your own games. Well, in this episode, I made a mistake so horrible in the second game that I actually wanted to delete this entire video, but instead I'm going to share my embarrassment with all of you. And as it shows on the thumbnail, I'm an idiot sandwich, as Gordon Ramsay would say. Before we jump into the games today, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, or a virtual private network, which allows you to encrypt your connection to the internet so you can browse it privately and anonymously. There are many reasons why you would use a VPN. Number one, browsing anonymously is a huge relief when it comes to advertisements following you around based on what you've searched, and also keeping your passwords and personal identity safe on the web. Number two, if you like traveling, then you can set your VPN to a country with friendlier airline pricing. And then when you get to that destination that you bought the cheaper pricing with using this exact same VPN, you can access certain sensitive portals like your bank if you have to, using that internet at the hotel that you're staying at, but you'll feel a peace of mind. And number three, the fan favorite, watching your favorite shows on your favorite streaming sites. For some reason, some copyright issues or otherwise, certain shows are removed from certain catalogs based on where you are in the world. Let's say you wanna watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia or The Office. Connect the VPN that you got in this ad read to the UK and now you have access to those things. And Surfshark is a super user-friendly VPN. They keep you in mind. First of all, you can use it on an unlimited number of devices, which is something other VPNs can't promise you. And second of all, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. You sign up for Surfshark, you absolutely hate it for whatever reason, you're gonna get a full refund. No elaboration necessary. So get started with Surfshark today. Look, folks, you know how this goes. Click that link in the description. You get 83% off and three free months. Let's get back to the video. All right. Nice. My favorite opening. The Lundoon system. Okay. So by the way, I like to play E3 here because it allows for a faster light scored bishop movement, but it, it is what it is. Also, against c5, it's better to play e3, knight e2. All right, I'm already getting like sub-1200 vibes because no one above 1200 should be playing knight c6. And blocking the light squared bishop. Oh my goodness. Knight bd2. Yeah, so we got to play c3 now. That kicks out the bishop. And then the bishop will go to d3 and knight e5. Oh, huge. Ah, we getting a little, uh, this is not good. What's happening right here on the queen side is what happens to Benji in the morning. So my dog will take one bite out of his food and then my dog will hear a neighbor in the backyard and go, I gotta go see the neighbor! I gotta go see the neighbor! And then he doesn't eat his breakfast. All right, so it's like uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go here and then wait. You don't need to do all this. Let's stick to our London plan. You know, knight e5, queen f3, queen h3, queen h7. Like you wanna, you know what I mean? That's what he, cause that's what he does. He's like, oh my god, there's a person. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like you don't, you don't have to. You, this is fine. But now it's time that you see bishop d3. C4 is not a not a horrible move, but once you play c4. There's, this is gonna be a totally unique game. Okay, you're no longer gonna be playing bishop d3, you're no longer gonna be playing knight e5, all this stuff, all right? Oh, oh boy, lock him in. Lock that bishop away, which is a thing that should happen to some other certain bishops, I'm just saying. Oh! <laughs> Religious folks, chill out. There's like eight of you in my comment section sometimes, but anyway, take, take, take the knight. Very nice, bye-bye. Go away. Develop. Oh my goodness. Wait, he's actually... Are you actually going to put the bishop in jail? Oh, that's so savage. Oh, that bishop is dead. Wow. I love it. Look at that. Incredible. The dark squared bishop will never see the light of day again. Oh, awful. Awful. Just awful. Bo brother, you've completely shut down the board. Go here. You see how the engine wants you to go h4? Don't open the center. I immediately hate this move because you you just give your opponent hope. See, look at what they look. Now they're getting all the pieces into the game. Don't, don't, no. 
I want you know bishop back queen here mate that's what we do don't let him get don't trade pawns in a position where you have more space all right don't allow your opponent to activate pieces in a position where you have more space you're fine just holy all right you're you're lucky that you're you literally could prop you your internet could go out here and you would still win this game i don't know how really i don't know how like it, it i don't know you ever disconnect like you ever disconnect from the server in the in the middle of a winning chess game Okay. Yeah, see, again, you gave a little bit of hope. This is a little bit much. Uh, now, maybe King B2 prevents all of that. King B2? Okay, the idea of H3 had better be to go here, because otherwise I hate you for playing this move. I don't know. I mean, dude, there is a queen infiltrating the position. If you lose all these pawns, black is no longer worse. What's with Jimmy on my face? What? There's no Jimmy on my face. What are you talking about? Anyway, G. Okay. Now your opponent should just ignore you and give you perpetual check. You've just blundered a draw. Okay. This is just. This is just a draw. In fact, probably taking on a four with check is even better. Wow. Okay. So. Anticipate the most powerful piece coming to attack your king, and defend against it. Okay. That doesn't happen. Now it's still a draw. Okay, now you're winning again because it's not a draw. They didn't give you the checks and you're going to mate them, right? Sack the bishop. Boom. Game over. You're going to win this game in the next five moves. Boom. Game over. Mate. How many mates in one are there? One, two, three. Only three. Terrific. All right, that was an exciting game. Okay, judging from the really horrible understanding of how to play the opening by black... And judging by the oh my god shiny object gameplay in the middle game by white, as well as the absolute disregard for any sort of a logical play for about five moves, and also castling like an absolute lunatic, and just letting the queen wander in and save the day, I'm gonna say about 900. I'm gonna say 870 to 970 is where this game is. All right, I'm gonna give it like I'm giving it. I'm, I think 800 vibes. Let me just scan one more time because there was some logical play. I mean, H3 G4 was pretty logical. Yeah, I'm 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 getting 800 vibes from this game for sure. Yeah, this is what I think. Let's go. Let's go see. Uh, let's go see. Hold on. Apologies. All right, and... What? White is 400? Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, I was really worried you were going to be like 1,200. Wow. Wow, amazing. So you, uh, you, you should feel good. I just doubled your rating. Damn. Yeah, wow. I mean, your opponent played not, not great. You played fantastic. Damn. Well done. Definitely prospects in your chess career. Just be mindful of counterplay. All my criticism goes out the window now, by the way, because you're 400. I mean, you, wow. Crazy. What an amazing move. Bishop sack and everything. You should be very proud of yourself. Flying muscle. A.K.A. Jimmy. A.K.A. You're 1300 now? Oh, wow. Wow. See, I knew you had a... Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling. All right. Good game. Sick game. That was very well done. All right. E4, D5. E5. Yeah, this is just going to give you a combo of the Caro and the French. E5 is a really bad move. Because again, this like is what's supposed to happen if black gets everything in the French. Yeah, no, that's not. So I love that. Yeah. Oh, oh, E6. Yeah. 
put the bishop outside of the pawn chain. What is... What are we doing? Why would you... What is white doing? Knight c6, thank you. Okay, so this knight can't go here, so it should go here, okay? Um, this is very common. Or f6, actually. It's not, not, a, not a terrible move. Happens sometimes. Okay, love it. That's fantastic. Bishop c5, no more castling by white. Development, development. Okay, that's not a bad move. I get it. You're trying to avoid b4. It's not really scary. You should get aggressive. It be what it do, though. Yeah, so at some point, you need to play this break. Otherwise, you're not... You're not really going to be able to make a lot of progress. I don't hate knight d4, but you definitely need to... You, you, you definitely need to... Um, Uh, you gotta play f6 at some point, okay? Here, here. f6, like it's gotta happen at some point. You could even maybe give a check. Bait this, then move the queen out of the way and try to get that. Oh, that's what happened. Is knight f3 winning? This is crazy. Look, you can fork, but somehow your queen hangs and their queen hangs. Wow. So queen h5. Okay. At some point, this, like, just completely crushes. Just crushes. Okay, fine. Oh, my goodness. Put the rook on the c-file. Okay, I don't hate that move. Free knight. Knight a4. Not only do you not take a free knight, you lose a knight of your own, but luckily still have this. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. I mean, you just played bishop d7, and you don't take the knight. Okay, the knight goes back. Now you can take the pawn on b4, but your knight is hanging. Now you see it. Wow. Oh, are you going to win with bishop b6 and knight g3 mate? This is sometimes a very common thing when there's a monster diagonal open. Okay. Okay. Check. Okay, so you can play knight g3, but you can't sack the queen because the rook defends. So you have take, take, here. No chance, right? Okay, yeah, it was, it was too good to be true. <laughs> what is... <laughs> what is... What is this, bro? Can I, like, can someone please tell me what, what is king h8, bro? Like, what? <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, we got some pressure here. We got some pressure. Um, wait. Wait, oh my god, whoa. Wait, what am I talking about? Folks. What? Y'all let me say this out loud? Oh my. I'm sorry, man. I, you know what? I, I... I've been watching these games too long, man. <laughs> been watching these games for far too long, man. Oh my goodness. All right, well, you know what? For the first time in a very long time in Guess the Elo history, we are going to get a live necking. That's what that's called, man. That's what that's called, all right? Not the Australian one. Australian one apparently means something very bad. I did not know that that was a thing. All right? Wow. I straight up just hung a queen trying to suggest the move. Amazing. Incredible. All right, well, now, now, in my defense, all right, in my defense, this is still a very weird move, okay? That doesn't, I would not play king h8, all right? All right, now, this is some good stuff here. What is going on in this game? What? Okay, so... That happened, but... Wow. 
fantastic. Yeah, great game. I mean, what a what a game. I'm I'm sorry I even spoke. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> um, what a what a goofy guess the Elo episode. Uh, I don't know. Black played very well. I'm getting intermediate vibes for sure, but like right here, I mean, just weird stuff going on. Just weird stuff going. I mean, what is going on here? Eleven hundred, gotta be, gotta be eleven hundred. Eleven fifty-four versus eleven eighty. Bang. Uh, also, you beat a Blitzstream subscriber. So. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. Wait, is this a 10 minute game? Guys, what? Like, can I just ask, why would you start a 10 minute game and use one and a half minutes? Again, well, like, I, I, I compel you to answer my question. One and a half minutes used in 30 moves. Just, I will never, for the life of me, understand. I, I don't know. Okay. C5. Interesting. Reverse Queen's Gambit. Okay, white is sticking to a Catalan. White is sticking to a free pawn for black. Okay. Well, this is a high-level game. This is a very high-level game. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's just a fork. Knight f4 wins the game on the spot. Uh, wow. Okay. So white is just a clean pawn up and is much better because black doesn't really have any of the traditional counterplay. All right, I get it, I get it. Men only want one thing and it's disgusting, you understand? Yeah, all this, yep. Okay, white is just letting it happen. Okay, now white is just worse because white really wanted to get mated. Okay. Dude, I don't, like, what, you just did all the hard work? I guess there's rook h4 now, but I mean, why not here? Wasn't this the whole idea? You know, ed5. There's like queen h3. I, I just, I mean, okay. Right, I mean. No, if, if queen here, then yeah. But I guess you can just take. Long castles is the best move. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Fake. Queen f5, wow. Okay, so this is just winning now? I don't quite understand. What? I don't know. What? Minus 11? Okay. Hunt the king into the middle. Yeah, so black wins this game in a million different ways, but also black can do nothing because these pieces can't move. So... You know, you can just, like, play even, for example, like, f6, e5, bishop c5. Like, that. Be, black is just completely winning. Okay. Rook e4. Yep. Check on g1. Probably you have some guaranteed queen win soon. Okay, f5. You can take that and probably continue to... Maybe, oh, e5 is a very strong move. e5 is very strong. Does that work? I mean, it probably works. Okay. Um. Oh, up. How are you? What? How is this minus 0.9? Huh? Uh-oh. Is it a draw now? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. If you take the rook, knight b5, queen a8. Knight b5, queen a8! What? How did that happen? How? 
Oh my. That's insanity. This game had a really interesting dynamic opening, some stupid blunders, a really interesting plan by Black, and then just no finishing ability at all. I mean, but they played pretty logically and then just threw the game. Wow. Hmm. Let's say, like... Uh, 1600. I'm getting 1600 vibes. Wow, even lower! 1330 versus 1390. I really thought that they were high level because... It just felt like... It just felt like they played good moves way too much than the average 1300. Is that mean? Am I mean? I feel like I'm mean. Still, still. still. Oh my goodness. I mean, that was, uh, that was rough. We're all mean? I got you. What a game. That was insane. All right, this is an 80 move game, which means there's 80 moves of content. All right, we have another Karo, a two knights Karo, a Tartic Hour two knights Karo. Wow, this is like unbelievably normal. What is going on? This is a shockingly normal game. No one's done anything dumb yet. I'm very, very nervous. Like, wh when is it- when is it gonna begin? Is this game three or four? This is game number four. Alright. Castles. Yeah, I like to play B5, A5, A4 in these kinds of structures. Uh, and then maybe something like Knight here or Knight here, and then maybe Bishop G4. Bishop G4 is always a good move when the Knight is on F3. It doesn't really belong on F3, it's supposed to go to E2. Okay, let's see what you did. Jeez, you did what I did. What? Like 2,000? Oh, there's a very nice Tartic Hour idea here of sacking the bishop. I've won a lot of games like this, and the threat is just this, and the game is over. The king is trapped. If bishop f1, there's this. You just up two pawns. No, I, if it was my game, I would play bishop h3. It's not my game, though. So... Oh my goodness, this is awful by white. Just knight g6, perfect. To f5, f4, winning on the spot! Gah. Missing f5, f4, huh? 1700, maybe? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Second time they found it. Okay, very nice. Take the bishop. Oh, but if takes the bishop, there's takes the rook, takes the queen to... Ah, yeah, yeah, you can take because capture chain. By the time this gets here, rook takes rook is check. Very tough to see, though. Very tough to see this. Or this. Also winning. Oh, that happened! Wait, what? Wait, sorry? That happened and it was... Wait, what? All that happened? All this happened? Bishop back. Wait, why is this an 80 move game? Also, what is this game? I don't, I don't understand. This is just... What? This is not really an 80 move game. This is... Why not resigning? Is that supposed to be a hint? Oh, look at this flex. Oh, look at this... F oh, look at this flex! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. What a savage! Oh my goodness! The Bishop Knight- Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh my! Oh, that's crazy! But White didn't know theory. 
and Black Mist F5, F4, and Bishop H3. Bishop Knight made is impressive, but there's a limit to, I'm gonna say like 2,000, I think. Because above 2,000, people probably know the Tartakower lines by white. Mm, do they? Also, at a certain point, people resign, right? I'm gonna say like 1,900 to 2,000. But the problem is 2,000s don't really know. Man, is it the Bishop Knight flags or is it the opening? Hmm. What a conundrum. Okay, if the players are close in strength, then I'm gonna, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 2,000. I'm saying 2,000. This is game number four, right? Black is 1370? Black. Uh. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Mmm. Mmm, you sure about that, dude? You really sure about that, dude? Are you sure about that, dude? Are you sure that you're 1300, my dude? 21 at Puzzle Rush, but knows Bishop Nightmate? Okay, alright, okay, I believe you. Fine. No worries. I... I... Show of hands, who believes in who the I you know what? You know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be it's extremely impressive. Let's put the, put it this way. Extremely impressive. Listen. Extremely impressive. All I have to say, very nice. Alright. We believe. We believe. That was an incredible game. I mean just just most beautiful game I've ever seen in my life. All right, it's pretty believable. Well, Gun Invalid, your game is next. Gun Invalid, you're actually the next person. All right, terrific. Uh, all right, here we go. Gotham sub with the white pieces, plays the move E4, and we have a three knights and a horrible move by black because simply blocking in the dark squared bishop. Very bad. Just awful. Awful, just not a good move. Bishop c4, yeah, now black, now black is losing. Now it's a fried liver and black can't play, oh my goodness. Folks, some of you might know the fried liver, right? The fried liver main line is d5 because black defends that pawn enough. That doesn't work when you've already moved d6. This is just game over, okay? Like, white is winning on move five. The fried liver doesn't work for black. If d5 is not playable, okay? Anyway, d4. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It is what it is. d4 is a nice move. Okay, takes here, okay. Develop the bishop, long castle. Develop the bishop, okay, fine. Short castle is fine. Good. Very bad move. Why is c5 such a very bad move? Uh, because for the temporary dopamine effect of attacking white's queen, all the queen has to do is retreat, and now you have a massive, massive, massive weakness on d5, and what's called a backwards pawn, which is a pawn that is not being defended by any other pawns, and cannot move forward because the enemy controls that square. So now white is completely crushing, right? Because white is just gonna go and win that pawn, and white can win it immediately, but maybe there's b5, so I would just go a4 here and prevent b5. White plays. Okay. You gave me a lot of guesses. I would have not guessed that move. Now, black should immediately knight fork the queen and the bishop. If you have an opportunity to knight fork a queen and a bishop, more often than not, it's a good move. As long as there is no tactical response, 
All right, we don't play b5 or knight h5. We defend g7 and we hang d6. Terrific. Ooh, juicy. That attacks uh, mate. So black can defend mate, yes. So the engine wants a draw here by repetition, but white just backs up. Okay, now black weakens their king, but there's no mate. e5 is a nice move. Oh, oh, danger levels. Oh my, you know what? Can, can we get a queen sack? Can we get a queen sack in the house? Three pieces for the queen. Can we get a little bit of this? There's queen h4 at the end, but they don't see that. Uh, it's crazy that that wins. Wow. But uh, I wanted three pieces for the queen. Wow, the, the danger level move. Ooh. Okay. Oh, another beautiful attack. Take the pawn. Oh. Okay, just when I was giving credit. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Attacking the... Yes. Very chaotic game. Oh, boom. Boom. This is why you don't push pawns in front of your king. Oh, oh, savage. Absolute savage. Sneaking in there with the queen. Beautiful. Fantastic ending to this game. And now you win it in style with... Okay, another free pawn. And a knight. Is this another one of these games where... Uh... Like, what... What's going on here? It's another one of these games, I'm gonna guess like 1800 and you're like a 300? A very good game. A couple of mistakes by, I mean, Black. Very bad opening play. And uh, then played a few very nice moves. Kind of a caveman approach by White. Sort of scatterbrain play. And then a nice little sneak in here. I got like a, a thousand vibes. A thousand to eleven hundred vibes from this game. There's no way it's fourteen hundred. Because if you're fourteen hundred playing d6 and like... This bad opening stuff with Black. I don't know what you're doing. Like, you know what I mean? I think White played great. Black played very impulsively. And then like this whole approach. Like bishop h6. Ah, uh, is it really that crazy though? Bishop c6 was a very high level move. Uh, um, I'm gonna say like 12, maybe 1200. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like black had really bad opening play. 1309. This is the third time today. 1309 versus 1273. It's kind of nuts that people even get to 1270 with no fundamentals. Wifey made a hot dog, by the way. I'm gonna go 